What's going on guys, Magician Jso here, and it's been a while since I've done a Swole update video, so I figured I'd give you guys an update of where I'm at and what's been working for me for success. So there's still 12 days left on this event. Here's the training I have done so far. I have my um, Gene trained up to rank 6, he's currently rank going towards rank 7 right now to get that craze boost. I have my Leela trained up to rank 7 to get that 150% buff to my Futurama card's health. I plan to probably take her up to rank 9 before the event ends because that 200% buff will come in handy. So once Jean's done training, she's probably my next one that I'm going to train. Ricky Spanish here, I trained up to rank 6 to get that sturdy buff at 100% because I am running a lot of super dance squads. He is my key to victory. So I am going to... I might, if there's time, I might train this up one more to rank 7 to get that 150% on the wall because that might come in handy, we'll see. I ended up training my Zap here up to rank number 5 to take advantage of the Futurama attack buff and I do have that 50% buff to the Motivate for my Time for Hard Liquor that I'm running in my deck. For Bender here, I trained him up to 3 just to take advantage of that 25% buff to Futurama attack because I am running a Futurama deck. I didn't give a crap about the shield, I just wanted the attack buff there, but that's where I left off at Bender. And then Bobby here, I ended up training up to 3 as well for the 50% um, punch because when I started this out, I thought I was going to be making the Red Rod Rodriguez combo a lot more than I have been because Red Rod has a lot of punch and I thought I was going to be making him a lot. My original goal was to take this all the way up to at least rank 7 for that 150% buff on it, but I am not really making Red Rods really ever anymore, so I stopped at 3. Same thing with the stand here, I initially got him up to the 3 here to the for that 50% buff to the cheer because I anticipated doing a lot of flank wins like I did in the last swell challenge. However, I found myself utilizing the flank strategy few and far between. Every once in a while I do see the opportunity for it and I go for it, but my main goal is to build a high craze and slot one with Super Dance Squad, which is why I just kind of left Stan at rank 3 here. I could take him up to 4 if I wanted to and take him up to 5 to get that 100%, but I don't really see the need to do it, especially this close to end game. Bob here, I ended up training up just to 2 to take advantage of the, um, the coin bonus here. Um, I did choose Bob over just some random hero for that leech because I was originally making Opera Leela's as well, which has that leech skill built in, so I was going to anticipate if I ever needed to get leech higher, this was going to be one of my options to go, but I ended up just leaving, that, leaving him at 2 for that um, coin buff. Same thing with Fry and Zoidberg here. I trained them up to two just to get that coin buff, however I did choose them as the potentials because they happen to be two heroes that had I decided to take them up higher had the potential for Futurama buffs to the attack, which is why I chose them for my people to go for for the two. But my main heroes that I'm focusing on are Jean, Leela, Ricky Spanish, and Zat Brannigan. They are my main four for the core group. Now if you look um, right here, you can see where I'm currently ranked. I'm currently at 81 trophies. That's rank 71 out of everybody. And then one thing I forgot to go over in the previous um, Swole video guide that I gave you guys was you could actually change what level you want to play. So say you're stuck at a high level and you need to get some more research done, but you're struggling to get the win to get some more of the um, Swole tokens here, you can go back and replay an earlier level that you can beat easily. And just by beating that level, you'll get the same rewards you would have gotten for beating your last highest level you played. So for example, if I were to play level 50 right here, I can um, go ahead and beat it and I'll still get the same amount of tokens I would have got for winning had I won on um, level 80. So I've been utilizing this a lot to farm tokens to get my research going whenever I hit levels that I was getting stuck at. So really quick, we'll go ahead and play through this just to collect some extra tokens here. So opening hand, I don't have my fry unfortunately, which is my go-to combo usually in slot one. So we're gonna play Leela in the opening there. As you can see, the um, extra health from the bonuses have been very beneficial. My hero health is up to 200 now because of it. My Leela's health is up to 103. So it's been a big help to have that, um, that trained up. So we're going to go ahead and make Opera Leela in that first slot, just because she can be cheering my um, Futurama cards. This won't really work at the higher levels, but at rank 50 right now, at the 50th level, this is fine for me to get a flank setup, because these cards are still low enough where it doesn't really matter. So I'm going to go ahead and just play Diamond Crusher out there. We'll go ahead and combo into the Gender Bender. So now I have two cards that have cheer to Futurama cards on the field there. So I'm set up in a good spot to get a flank win here. We'll play Fry on the field. 
And then that's it. That's the win at 50. So if you look here, like I was explaining earlier, that win right there on the earlier level still gave me the same amount of token rewards that I would have had at that um, higher level. So it's just a great way to go about farming your stuff at, the, um, at those levels. So what I'm going to do now is I want to show you guys what the higher levels look like at 80 and above. So I'm going to go ahead and bring this level all the way back up to my current level of 81. I'm going to spend the gems on a refill here and then I'm gonna try to scrape out some new wins today and progress. And I want you guys here along for the ride with me. So let's see, perfect fight, let's recharge that energy. That was all of my gems, but you know what, worth it. Figured it's worth it because I want you guys to see what these higher levels look like. So let's go ahead and get into this. Level 81. So right off the bat, you're gonna notice an immediate change from level 50 here. The, um, their health is going to be above the 300 mark now, so I'm at a huge disadvantage with my 200 health. That's why I'm eager to get Lila's training up even higher now. So let's see. Luckily, I had some good draws here. I drew two fries, and I can go for Super Dance Squad or for the Robot Fry in disguise. So we're going to open with Fry and see what the draw gives me. So let's see here. They are going to open up with a Bob. That is good. So I just need to get my combo going for Craze and hope they don't combo Bob, and that could work in my favor. So I just need to take a look now and see what I want to do. If I do my Super Dance Squad, I'm looking at 38 Wall and 30 Craze, which is pretty good. If I do the this one for the Fry in Disguise, I'm looking at 36 Wall and 26 Craze. However, I do have the 28 Leech, which is pretty nice to try to get back some health. So I think I'm going to go ahead and do that one. Just because on the off chance they do combo that Bob, I want to be able to get back some health and survive to get my attack up there with the Craze. So let's see what happens. Hopefully they don't combo. Unfortunately though they did and they have that um they have the skill for the jab there to break through some of the wall. So I'm glad I went with Robot Fry to try to leech back some of that health. So at this point I need to start building out a wall of health here because whatever I play here they're going to have a card in this slot. So I I want to get another Fry combo on the field but not here. I want to try to get it in slot 3. So I'm going to play my one art please pre-combo just to have a buffer there. So let's see, Super Dance, or Frying Robot Disguise is now down to 58 HP. I should be leeching back a bit there. Hopefully I can outlast his Beta Beer Chug and win that fight of attrition there. They played a Flirty 2 to pre-combo, so unfortunately they are going to be playing a card in slot 3 next turn, so it's not in my best interest to play my Fry down now. I'm better off just playing another high HP card here that's Futurama to have another health buff and try to build my wall down further there. So that's what I'm going to do. So Frying Robot Disguise is going to hit Beta Beer Chug for 86 there, or 88. Going to leech back up a little bit. I believe as long as I don't get punched by the hero here, my Fry will outlast and I will be golden. Hopefully I get a good lucky um, thing here. Let's see. Yep, Frying Robot Disguise survived, which means I'm going to be taking down the Beta Beer Chug, which means I am in a really good spot here. I'm going to go ahead and just throw out my Dr. Amy Wong now, just as another health buff, because at this point, it's just a war of attrition. I need to outlast all of his cards here so that my Frying Robot Disguise can continue to craze higher and higher to get this win. So that Beta Beer Chug luckily is going down. I've leached back some health there, back to 52. His Bending School is getting a little bit out of control there, especially now that he made a Bending School grad, so... I need to start making some moves happen here. Luckily, I'm hitting him for 138 direct here. And then if I make a card in slot 4 here and combo next turn, he can't get a card over here in slot 4. So I will have a direct attack. So that is what I'm going to be doing. I'm going to go ahead and play my Fry over here in that slot. So next turn I can combo for a direct attack and that'll hopefully be enough to end it. Let's see here though, my Frying Robot Disguise is going to be hitting for 140 direct, which is going to be some major damage to their 263 there. Um, Dr. Amy Wong with the, the Cripple All is nice, it's not doing much. So let's see, they lay down the Sex Ed Teacher. With only 143 health and my Frying Robot Disguise at 164, it looks like it was crippled there a bit. That should be doing... That should be doing 20-ish damage, so I still would have 100 damage worth of a gap to cover here, should I want my um, Fry over here to be able to do much damage on anything for the combo, because that's not going to clear that. So I need to survive a hit from the Bending School grad here, as well as the Flirty Tutor. So honestly, I don't know if this is even possible, because that Flirty Tutor is going to be hitting me hard for almost 60-some damage. The best thing I can probably play would be either my Bender's Clowns 
or my nibbler on the roof. Probably the vendor's clowns because it's going to have a bit more of a wall there to keep me alive. But this is my best bet to try to stay alive because if I can outlast this one more turn and survive his hit, I'll win when I combo my fry next turn. So let's see how this goes. Because his sex ed teacher is going down. I survived the hit. He's down to 79 HP. My frying robot disguise in slot 1 now has 190 attack. All I have to do to ensure the win now is make my super dance squad over here because that's going to be a 30... Three direct on top of what I'm doing to his fry there. That should be enough to end this, I believe, to cover 79 HP. So this will be my win. Yep, by 1 HP there, 35 to their 34. That's a win. So now we're going to take a stab at rank 82 here to try to progress even further. Let's see what the new buffs are going to be applied to for them. They're now at 313 HP. Jesus Christ. Luckily, I have my cards to get my Super Dance Squad going, so we're going to go ahead and just play fry in slot 1. They open with a Drunk Fry pre-combo, so I don't have to worry about them comboing that card, luckily. I can go ahead and just make my Super Dance Squad with my 40 wall that's going to be blocking a lot of damage off the bat, and I'll be hitting him pretty hard and getting my Craze Train going. So this is a pretty good spot to be in right now. So if you look at that, I have now have 73 attack. If I get a lucky punch onto the Drunk Fry, I could take it out this turn and I'll be set because they played another pre-combo. But I don't want to wait for the lucky punch. I want to try to get rid of that Drunk Fry now. So I'm going to play my Leela in slot 2 for that Motivate because that'll be enough to set me over the edge to one-shot that Drunk Fry. So which means my Super Dance Squad's not going to be taking any more damage this next turn unless he gets punched. But I'm not taking that 67 attack. And I'm getting that Craze Train going way off the ground. So I'm going to be set up in a really good spot here. So that Oktoberfest Leela, unfortunately, with its payback damage, is a bit annoying to deal with. And if I don't do something now, I'm going to lose my um, Leela here. Because these are all pre-combos. I know for certain he's going to be playing a card in this open slot next turn. And if I have a hole in my wall with my Leela, I'm not going to be doing so hot. So what I'm going to want to do instead is I'm going to want to make some sort of combo here. I could go for Action Delivery Force Leela. She'll most likely survive, and she'll have her own craze going there, which is nice. Or... I could go for the opera um, singer Leela. She'll have cheer to cheer on some cards later on down the line, and she has that 39 leech to get some health back to help her survive a bit longer. Honestly, it's all about keeping my wall up at this point, so I'm going to go with the opera singer Leela because of that leech, because I want to keep her alive to keep my, um, my wall up here so I don't have to worry about playing defense, or any, any more defense than I would normally have to, because my main goal is just to keep Super Dance Squad alive and keep that craze train going to the win. So at this point... They now have a third card on me. They are going to be losing their Oktoberfest Leela, so I'm going to go ahead and just play my one art please pre-combo here, just because I don't have to worry about comboing it or anything. It has a lot of health. But yeah, Oktoberfest Leela is now going down. My opera singer Leela should be leeching for 39 HP, so that brings her back up to 89. So I'm in a pretty good spot here, because the Whiskey um, Drunk Brian most likely won't take it out unless it gets a lucky punch here. We'll see. It gets the lucky punch, but I still survived by one, so I'm still in a really good spot. So I'm going to be doing a direct attack now of 126. They're going to be forced to play a card in slot one this next turn. So I am free to go ahead and set up my fry over here for a combo next turn, because I can be attacking directly, and that might just be the way I need to go to get this win. So I don't expect to do any damage on these cards. At this point, my wall is going to come down here next turn, unfortunately. It's okay, though. I did a lot of damage there with the Super Dance Squad with that 160 direct. So I'm still doing all right. If you look here, they played the Absinthe there. So really high health card. It's going to be doing some payback damage to me, unfortunately. And that 43 Cripple is unfortunately causing me a bit of a headache here. That being said, the 86 attack with the 40 there isn't going to be 154. So I can take the hit should I decide to make my Diamond Crusher combo there with... Not my Diamond Crusher combo, my Super Dance Squad combo with Fry. That being said, that cripple all did really hurt me. If I do this, I'm leaving myself open to lose next turn because of the um, cripple all of that 43 because this is not going to cover that gap that I need to cover for the health. So unfortunately, I do still need to be playing the defense game right now. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to play my... Could do Nibbler or do Dr. Emmy Wong for the 8 bodyguard, but that's not really doing much to protect me from the Whiskey Drunk Brian for the punch anyway, so whatever. I think at this point, my best bet is just to play my um, Nibbler here because it has a little bit of leech. But I'm on the defensive now because comboing Fry would not get me the win, unfortunately, because of that Baby Bender's cripple all wall. 
And also, Absinthe has 24 Crit Ball also. I need to take care of at least that card there with my craze going up if I want to have even a chance at getting this to go. And unfortunately, he made a Drunk Fry. That's going to be doing quite a bit of damage there. So, I am in a kind of a bad spot at the moment now. Because that's not going to be enough to cover that um Drunk Fry. That will be ending my Super Dance Squad in slot 1. So, yeah, this is probably going to be my loss this time around. Because there's nothing I can really do. If I combo my... um. My Nibbler here, or I don't even anything to combo. Even if I did combo there, though, I'd only buff up Fry and slot four there by ten. There's no way that's covering 117. Even if I were to defend here, the um, I'm losing my Super Dance Squad. It's just all really, really bad. So I think I'm gonna go ahead. Just um, I'll play the defense because I know it's what I have to do. But at this point, it's my loss because I'm losing my Ace in the hole in slot one there. Yep, there goes my ace in the hole. He's at 157 in his first slot there. All of my cards are down, and I no longer have an opening to hit him, so that's my loss. I'm going to go ahead and forfeit this match now. So let's go ahead and try that again, guys. As you can see, my entire strategy hinges on getting a craze combo with Super Dance Squad or Robot Fry set up in slot 1. There is a little bit of luck involved to it, just because, as you saw last time, if they play the right combo against me, it can just demolish the whole plan. So it looks like, unfortunately, I did not draw a Fry this time to make Robot Fry. So I could go for a defensive option here for Gender Bender, which will set up a Cheer Wall. Or I could play my Pimp My Slay in the slot 1 here and hope I draw a Fry and go for the Robot Fry in Disguise. Not the Robot Fry in Disguise, the Super Dance Squad. So it's a tough call to make without knowing what the draw will be. I am running 4 Fries in my deck, so there is a somewhat of a chance I'll draw it. If I don't, though, I'm leaving myself open to where I would be forced to Red Rod or let the Pimp My Slay die, so I don't know. It's a tough call to make. I think ultimately what I'm going to do is I'm just going to risk it because I do need that Super Dance Squad in slot 1 to have a good chance here. So he plays Bob. Unfortunately, I failed the draw there. So now I have another tough decision to make. Do I go with the Red Rod here and just hope he doesn't combo and then get a music call, uh, card line going? Or do I just abandon that slot and make my... um? combos down the line. Unfortunately, I think I'm going to be forced to combo because Pit My Slay, well, decent with 123 HP, isn't going to be lasting long. Because if he combos Bob, it's going to go down quick. Even if he doesn't combo Bob, Bob has 12 um craze, so I need to take it out. Especially with that 28 heal, he'll be healing stuff down the line, so Red Rod is still going to be my best bet, I think, for this, just to do some massive damage and hopefully take it out next turn. <laughs> So at this point, what I need to do now is I can take advantage of the flanks here for the cheer from my um, Red Rod. So I'm going to probably go ahead and play my Nibbler on the roof because it'll get some cheer. And it has some leech in there to get some health back. Because I don't want to really set up my um, Diamond Crusher combo with Bender there because of Peter's... um. Oh, I'm sorry. I misread that. I thought Peter had Bite Back. That's bomb. So that actually might be a way to go for the to set up a health wall there against the Peter. It just depends what they do with the combo is the thing. <laughs> It's all really a tough call to make at this point. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to play my Bender because he has a wall because I can worry about what to combo next turn. Either way, though, Bob is going down. If I'm lucky, I'll get the punch from Red Rod onto um, Peter to weaken him a bit. Nope, just destroyed Bob so I get a 34 direct. And yeah, they made a drunk Peter there. So at this point, I, if I combo my Bender, it's going to die anyways from the gas. So at this point, I'm just trying to set up some flank win stuff. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to play my... I'm going to be making a combo next turn over here anyways. I'm going to play Big Mountain Fudge Cake because it's the higher music attack card. And that way, I'm either going to go with the, another Red Rod or if I draw my Fry, I can do a Super Dance Squad and get that off the ground. But at this point, I'm going for a Hail Mary flank win here. Because there goes Bender. I'm taking that attack directly. So I'm going to, once again, allow myself to take the 79 direct again next turn. I just need to start doing damage. But either way, this wasn't a great draw to start out the match. So this is most likely still going to be, be my loss with these flanks. Because that 277 health it has left is just enormous. It is a crazy amount of health to try to break through. And he's building a pre-combo line on me now here. So I'm just not in a good spot. The best thing that can happen here would be if my Red Rod punches... Oh no, it leached back the health. I didn't even see the leech proc. Yeah, when it had the lower health, the punch would have been enough to set me over the edge and break a hole in the wall. But at this point, I'm kind of screwed. There's not much I can do. I'll go ahead and play my Nibbler on the roof just to defend. But with 18 health left and not much to get by here, I'm taking some bite back damage. I think it's over this next turn. It's going to be my loss again.
So let's take another stab at 82 here again and see if I can get another win here. I've been averaging about one win a day now for the last couple of days because of how insane the um, stats are on the enemies here at the above the 80 mark. So let's try this again. Unfortunately, no fry to be seen. However, I do have a potential to get a craze combo going with the action delivery force Leela. So I'm going to open with Leela first, and that way I can change my mind on that craze if I need to. They play a Peter, so... If I do my Diamond Crusher combo here, it'll get the craze going, but with Peter's wall, I'm not going to be able to get her attack off the ground fast enough to take that Peter out before she falls. So I am actually better off, instead of doing that, doing my Opera Singer Leela. The downside to this though now is I need that um, Nibbler to make that Super Dance Squad. I do have some more music items on the deck, so there are other draws I can make, but this is just, it's a tough situation to be in. There's not any one right move without knowing what's going to happen with the variables that are being thrown around here. I think what I'm going to do is I'll go ahead and play my um I'll go ahead and play my Fry because I can either combo him next turn for a direct attack or if I combo Leela he'll get a buff from the um the boost there. So let's just let this play out and see what happens here. Yep they made the Viking Peter there in that slot one so luckily my both my cards lived so I just have some decisions to make here now. I could go for the Super Dance Squad, but if he takes a direct punch, it'll die anyways. So instead, I'm going to go ahead and... Let's see, if I do my Action Delivery Force, it has the Hijack, which is nice, but she doesn't have enough health there. So she will be taken out anyways. So my better bet here is to go ahead and make that Opera Singer Leela, just because she'll be cheering the Fry, and she'll be leeching back some health to stay alive. So hopefully, if I'm lucky, the Viking Peter won't punch Fry... That way, Fry has a chance to live for next turn, but I'm not liking how this is going. I think I'm still in a lot of trouble here. Nope, Fry's gone, and they played a free combo there, so this is already starting to look like it's going to be my loss again. So let's go ahead and just throw out a... It doesn't really matter what I throw out. I'll throw out my um, Diamond Crusher, but I believe I lose my Opera Singer this next turn. Yep, that's going to be game. With all these holes in my wall, 216 attack from the Viking Peter, there's not much I can do. That's it. Yeah, as you can see, it's just a lot of tough fights here up in the 80s and above. Really strong um, cards they're throwing out. They have an insane amount of health. It just makes it really hard to try to get that win. Luckily, I have the cards I need to make my Super Dance Squad in slot 1, so we're going to get that going, and hopefully they're not going to be able to stop me. Let's see. They did play a Martini Peggy, which is unfortunate. It has a lot of HP, and that 40 Cripple is going to be a really big hindrance on me. That being said, I'm going to still go for my um, Super Dance Squad. Because if I can somehow overcome that, that will be what will get me my win. So as you can see, I've already been I've already been crippled a bit here. The Peter has the 28 bomb. It's already looking really bad. So if any, there was any card they could have played in slot 1 on the first turn to counteract me, that was a good one to have. Because she also has that jab to be breaking through some of my wall there. So I'm not in a very good spot. I'm going to go ahead and start playing that um, defense game now. So we're going to go ahead and play my Bender's Clowns because it has a lot of health and some wall there. So that might be able to survive a couple hits. Nope, they Viking Petered me and that just one-shotted me. So I'm once again in a bad spot here. I'll play my one-art please for the pre-combo just for the health, but this isn't looking good. I'm pretty sure this is another loss. Yep, there goes my ace in the hole. My um, walls are all coming down. That's my loss. Here we go again, like bashing my head against a wall, trying to meet a different result. Let's see if I have a little better luck this time around. So I do have some options for Fry. I could go for the Super Dance Squad or the Robot Fry, because I have the cards to do it. So we're going to open with Fry first. It all depends on what they play in slot 1 to counter me here. He plays a Peter. So because Peter has so much wall, Super Dance Squad will not be able to get off the ground by itself. It'll probably die first. So we're going to do the Robot Fry instead, so I can be leeching back some of that health to try to keep him alive. And there's the Viking Peter. That was That's what's going to end it for me. So it doesn't matter what I do. I'm losing my Robot Fry this next turn because of the punch. <laughs> and yep, that's going to be game. There's not much I can do to stand up to that. So I'm going to go ahead and forfeit. We have just two energy left, so I'll try to make some headway here. Try to move up a little bit more. So far, it's only been one win today on the progression there. So that's about my average for the last few days. One win a day. It's pretty tough at this level. Let's take a look here. 
and I got a horrible opening hand. No usable characters. Amy doesn't combo with anything in this deck. She's literally only in here to be a health wall. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and open up with my... Pimp my sleigh and hope I draw a fry. They play a Fever Dreams. I just drew another useless card there. Not much I can do here. I'm in a bad spot. We'll build my own wall here for Bender's Clowns, but... The fact that I have nothing to start here and they already got that much damage on me. Another item, no useful character. This is going to be my loss, I can already tell. I'll play one more turn just to see what happens, but I'm pretty sure this is over. Yep, another useless card. Fever Dreams is already crazing off the ground. They have Mowing Wall Intoxicated made there. I'm not even going to bother. This is done. This is a lost cause. All right, final match of the day for Swole. Let's see if I can pull one more win out of here. Come on, one more win. So let's see, my opening hand this time, at least I can make my um, Super Dance Squad, so we're gonna open with Fry and go for it again. Let's see what they play against me. Pre-combo of Hot and Bothered Lois. Has 192 attack, or 192 defense and 51 attack, so that's already gonna be really annoying to deal with. Luckily, it doesn't have any um, walls or cripple to stop me from trying to get my craze going. That being said, though, that's a huge obstacle to overcome. So we're, we'll go ahead and make the Super Dance Squad and try to overcome it. We'll see how this goes. I don't like how she has 28 bomb, though. That's going to be a, a damper against my defensive line here, unfortunately. So we'll go ahead and play my Time for Hard Liquor pre-combo just to buff up Super Dance Squad a little bit more. And it's going to have the most HP to hopefully survive a hit from the Oktoberfest Leela. Yep, so I was able to survive there. Super Dance Squad's going to overcome that hot and bothered Lois wall this turn, so that's going to benefit me. That being said, though, because of the payback damage from Oktoberfest Leela, I will be losing my time for Hard Liquor next turn. So I need to set up a new defensive line down over here in this slot. So we're going to go ahead and play Nibbler, just because it's going to have a lot of health and it has a little bit of leech here. There goes that card. They've made an Oktoberfest Leela, or Oktoberfest Fry now against me. That's going to be shielding their Oktoberfest Leela, and also has the hijack, so I can't do anything against that, really. I'm going to keep playing the defensive game here, because that's all I really can do at this point, and just hope Super Dance Squad crazes. Luckily, I do get 120, 120 and 5 direct on them here, to their 302, which is monumental. It's going to really help me out here. Unfortunately, though, I am going to be losing Nibbler and taking quite a bit of damage from that Oktoberfest Fry. So he only played a Bob in slot 1, I will be one-shotting that as well, which is working in my favor here. So let's see what's happening on the draws here. My highest HP card at this point will be my Dr. Amy Wong, so we're going to go ahead and throw her on the field there and just try to keep my um, defensive line up while Super Dance Squad continues to craze by 30 each turn. So that Bob is going down, I'm doing a bit of damage, and now my attack will be up to the 180s. So I am going to be losing Diamond Crusher this turn. Luckily, the health matches the Oktoberfest attack pretty closely, so I'm not losing too much this turn in health-wise. My um, Dr. Amy Wong will survive the hit. She is down pretty far, though, on HP, though. Once again, I'm forced to just keep playing my defensive line here, so we'll go ahead and do another Dr. Amy Wong here. Unfortunately, Super Dance Squad will not be able to clear the... um. Will not be able to clear the Peter there, because... <clears throat> It has I'm um, a 32 wall on top of its 106, so I'm not going to be taking that out this time around. So that's really unfortunate, but I just have to keep playing defense. It's the only thing I can do. Luckily, it won't be enough for the Peter to take out my Super Dance Squad. I just got to hope they don't combo the Peter. If they don't combo the Peter, then I believe I win next turn because I'll have my attack all the way above 200, so I'll be doing quite a bit of damage there. It all depends what they do here. Nope, they Viking Peter me to expand their health there. That's going to probably be the final nail in my coffin to make this a loss, because I'm going to now be taking some serious damage, and I won't be able to drop that Viking Peter. Let's see here. We'll see how it goes, though. It's close. I'm not going to forfeit it. So I'm down to 12 HP. Let's go ahead and once again just play a high HP Futurama card to try to keep my line up. So Super Dance Squad will be doing quite a bit of damage to the Viking Peter. If I can survive another turn with it, it will be my win, but it all comes down to that. It all comes down to where Viking Peter's punch goes. If my Super Dance Squad survives this turn, I win. If I don't, I lose. It all depends on where that punch goes from Viking Peter. I have a 1 in 3 shot here. Please don't hit Super Dance Squad. Let's see where it goes. Come on, baby. Yes! No! It had to hit Diamond Crusher, because it hit Amy, I take 48 direct, and that's my loss. That was the one card it could have hit that screwed me. Damn it! 
Well guys, that's gonna be it for my swole update video and for my hits today. Managed to squeeze out one win to make it from 81 to 82. New ranking is now rank 61. As you can see, once you are at the 80 and above mark, it's just insane with what you're getting hit with by them. Like, you could be on trend to win it, and at the last second, as you saw in the last match, everything can turn on a dime and completely screw you. So I'm hoping that once my training here is done with um, Gene and I get that extra bit of craze per turn, I'm hoping that'll be enough for my Super Dance Squad strategy to set me over the edge and get the extra attack I need to win the matches sooner before things like that can happen. And then my next plan of attack after the Gene is done there is just to start training up Leela again for that extra bit of health. I feel like that extra 50% buff to my health when I get there to rank 9, coupled with that extra bit of attack from Gene, and then if I have some time before it ends to get Ricky Spanish up there to the 150 wall, those three things I think will be monumental in helping me overcome the odds and possibly break into the 90s or 100s there. Anyways guys, that's going to be it for my Swool update video. I hope you found it informative and you just found it entertaining. Thank you so much for watching. If you did enjoy the video, please click the like button. And if you want to see more animation throwdown content, go ahead and subscribe to the channel if you're new. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Till next time, peace.